my name is veeraswami our own ego our own uh, uh, views and image about our own self when i walk into my office everybody should stand up and say salute me say good morning i will not do that on my own to anybody right and people should give me a lot of regard respect and all that kind of things and you have to drop those things because uh, everyone will have their own opinions about you and you have your own opinions about uh, others right so at the end of the day the ego is working against you it's not going to do any kind of help to you so be open like osho will say right uh, live a danger live dangerously he has one book called live dangerously right so drop all the expectations right uh, be ready to be insulted look at your own self and laugh laugh off right the moment you are able to drop your ego your entire situation be it in office or be it in your um, uh, at home right you will be completely uh, free and you nothing can bother you when nothing bothers you your your meditation will be 100% pure and quality oriented and you will achieve what you have to achieve and finally there is one spiritual truth we have to understand having listened to a lot of gurus having read the scriptures like bhagavad gita upanishads i can tell you your environment the environment has your own family members your parents your wife husband children your work environment also is included right all that also what is ha- whatever is happening to you in terms of what you like what you may not like all those things are part of your the divine design for you in this life <coughs> which the the shastras or the scriptures will call it as prarabdha the prarabdha will have whatever has to happen to you the raman maharshi used to say that whatever has to happen to you whether you work for it or you did or you do not want it it will still happen to you whatever is not supposed to happen to you however much you try for it it will not happen to you so so be quiet be cool and accept whatever comes you comes to you and just do whatever is required of that so drop all your expectations if you have to work for something you work for that but don't have expectations that the such and such kind of thing should happen that's where in the bhagavad gita chapter 247 shloka will say karmanye vadakaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhuhu so which basically says you have the right only in performing an activity not in the result however you should not start a work expecting certain type of result all these three should not mean that you should stop doing work right it's a very closely knitted uh, the shloka from bhagavad gita in terms of how you take up works so if you work with that kind of attitude then there will not be any kind of thing which can bother you the thoughts are nothing but botherations right so try to address in your thoughts there may not be more than 5 10 themes right so if you address those themes very attentively carefully and consciously you can very soon have a, a very clean mind and that is when the consciousness which is there in everybody right we are nothing but that particular piece of consciousness right we are not the mind we are not the body we are not our thoughts then you will realize that you are the one who is actually watching all those things you are the one who is watching your thoughts you are the one who is watching your body right you are the one who is actually uh, watching the work that you are performing conducting i am the one who is actually seeing myself talking and looking into the camera so i am not the body i am not the speech so when you actually understand this prarabdha and look at those things in a manner that they don't frustrate you you do whatever it is supposed to you you are supposed to do and accept the result right that is when you will be realizing your own self that is when the consciousness will fully uh, start working for you today we are like our thoughts are like the uh, the dust on the piece of uh, glass right when you want to see through a glass and it is very clear clean you will not be able to see what is there on other side of the glass right so our our effort should not be to change the glass or do a research on the glass but it should be to clean the glass of all the dust so our thoughts are like the dust on the glass it's not very difficult to clean the dust and similarly it's not very difficult to remove the thoughts in our <coughs> mind only thing is we have to realize that i am not my thoughts that thought is coming to me because of the design in my prarabdha because of my weaknesses because of my ego because of the challenges which are face which i am facing with 
for example, at home or in the office, and there is a way to deal with those things. And at the end of the day, I should be ready to accept whatever the result is. Right? I may be running a business. Right? My target may be one crore loss <coughs> profit per a business, but I have to understand that the result is not in my hand. The result is driven by so many other parameters. My right is only in doing a proper job, proper right job, right? And the rest of the results have to be left to the divine force. So when you approach your work, your people, right? And your emotions with that kind of things, that is when you will be 100% pure. And there is one <coughs> author by name Eckhart Tolle. And the very popular book uh, from him is the power of now okay it's less than 200 pages book and if you go through it he says when you perform when you live with this kind of thought process you will realize that whatever you are expecting really you will find that miraculously they will they will start happening in your life right and i have myself uh, uh, experienced that kind of possibilities right and it is available to everybody only thing is we should be honest in realizing what are my expectations? Are they due? Are they undue? Right? What are my weaknesses? And what are my egoistic uh, uh, behaviors? So do I have the courage to address all of those things? Right? And we have to understand this is like a business proposition. You, you address those things, you will get more benefits. Right? And also it will improve the quality of your life. So if you have to uh, believe the, uh, the Indian scriptures, the quality of your next life depends on how you live this life. And this life is because of the way you lived your previous life. So it is a continuous journey. Right? Until such time, you remove yourself of all the negative emotions, qualities, expectations and all those things. And live your, live your life every minute as if you don't remember anything. Jesus Christ said was that you should behave that as if you have no knowledge, no knowledge about the person previously. Right? So you remove all the previous knowledge about the person when you are dealing with a person. If somebody comes across me, I say hello and I have to remove all the knowledge about him, good, bad and all those things because previously uh, we are actually driven by our emotions about that person. Right? But in that particular context, if, if there is something that which you have to pull from your previous experience with him, so be it. But if it is just about saying hi and hello, how are you and all, why should your previous knowledge determine how do you say hello to him? How do you say how are you to him, right? So when you, uh, when you behave and you, when you converse with the people that you come across during the day with all this kind of knowledge and awareness and alertness, you will not be able to really achieve the purpose of your meditation. So be very honest in terms of what you uh, achieve through your meditation and be courageous enough to address all those uh, uh, obstacles and then make a very very sincere honest attempt in patanjali yoga sutra <coughs> there is a sutra which says uh, the, there is a question there was a question saying how long i have to practice and the sutra says satu dirga kala nairatantarya satkara savito satu dirga kala means long time long time how long till you breathe your last Always, not 5 minutes, 10 minutes in a day, always, 24 by 7. Satkara Sevito, meaning that as if you are doing a very good deed, right? Or as if you are doing some kind of social service. That's how your, uh, the practice should be. That is when you will be able to fulfill the very purpose of meditation. You are trying to activate your consciousness. Today the consciousness is blocked by your, the thoughts like the glass a very transparent glass is covered with some amount of dust because of this because of which the picture on the other side is not very very visible to you not clear enough so when you are behaving with a calm mind the consciousness will reveal what are all its powers right it will do magic in terms of your relationships in terms of the quality of work that you do in terms of the relationship at your in your workplace and outside as well so experience that be honest enough. The meditation is just not 30 minutes or one hour of exercise once or twice a day. You have to go beyond that, right? And all the very best. And all this is my understanding, right? Uh, I don't quote a guru here because, for example, if you are learning tables, for example, second table, two by two, four, two twos are four. 
today you have gone through your schooling, high school and all those things. Somebody asks you what is 2 by 2, you will say 4. And if he asks you which teacher told you or how do you know, you will not quote your teacher's name. It is part of your experience now, 2 by 2 is 4, you will not quote a teacher. You don't feel so, uh, uh, what you say, uh, grateful to the teacher who told you 2 by 2, it's part of your experience. If your elementary school teacher comes to you and today says that, no, 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 I taught you wrong, 2 by 2 is not 4, it is 3 or 5, no, you will say, sorry sir, I understand 2 by 2 is 4. So that is how your experience in meditation related practices should be. That should be part of your own understanding and psyche. Right? Don't, in the initial stages, yes, you will attribute to your guru, but at the end of the day, after some time, it has to be part of, part of your own experience. If your guru is going back on, on those things, you will still stick to those things, like 2 by 2 is 4 for you. Right? Be honest, be courageous. <coughs> Sorry. Your expectation should be nothing short of leaving this body with a pure mind, because that is going to determine the quality of your mind. And there are challenges at home, in your workplace, on the street. It is part of your divine plan. Everybody have their own set of divine plan, which is decided by the, by the quality of your previous lives. So go beyond just sitting for half an hour or one hour in meditation and understand the bigger picture. And you will understand, once you understand the bigger picture, you will know what you are supposed to do. And you will get the courage and sincerity and honesty in executing those practices. Thank you very much and I would welcome any of your comments and questions when this is posted <coughs> on the channel. All right, I would definitely go through the questions and answer those things and possibly they will help me in my subsequent sessions whenever and if ever those sessions happen. And my sincere thanks to Pyramid Meditation Channel for giving me these opportunities. It was, it's very impromptu, I have come to this studio for a different purpose to meet my one of my friends and it so happened they asked me to um, speak here and I have completely spoken out of my own understanding. Thank you very much.